Hi everyone! Hello, hi! Welcome Hello. to our YouTube channel <laughs> <laughs> and our very first video! <laughs> Yo, I don't want to be those you know? Yeah. Hi, I'm on the channel. I have a theme song. Like, it is. Huh? And have like a whole intro. No, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming soon. Maybe even in search here. Who knows? Well, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is our very first video. Uh, we're just going to answer some questions that were asked over Instagram, uh, DMs, messages, etc. Yeah, yeah. I am Laka Panaleo, Leo. And I'm with Lalipula, Kathy Pugupche. And yeah, this is our first video. Uh, just part of our like Get to Know Us series. Um, yeah, first of many, we hope. Yeah. Our vegan food inspo page basically like about a year ago, less than just a couple less of months, than. yes. Um, and when we started it, we just had hopes of like building a black vegan community, um, yeah, widening our network with other black vegans and other vegans alike. And we get a lot of questions, um. <laughs> About veganism, I don't know about you, Leo. I've had to defend veganism many a times in my life. Lost a lot of friends. But I heard that. <laughs> they will hurt you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this video, our first video, was supposed to, you know, um, basically answer questions that people have about veganism. Why we did it, why we started, you know, just um, put the whole what can I say, like doctrine, lifestyle that we live into, you know, context. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. first question we were asked um, was how long will it take for my skin to glow? That vegan glow. <laughs> and this is a very interesting question because... Can I glow? Precisely. <laughs> Jari, I had to look good to be oh. good. Yo, Blexi. Yeah. But no, 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 actually, to be honest, I think we just so happen to have good skin, right? Um, I don't want to be that guy personally, I don't know about you, Leo, who's like, veganism is the cure to acne or, you know, any other skin ailments. Um, it's not. It's not necessarily. You can be vegan and not have great skin. And that's how I feel about it. So I wouldn't be the person to be like, drink, just drink water, eat fruits and vegetables and your skin will be fine. It's not that easy. You know? mm. Yeah, for real, it's not that straightforward. I think genetics play like a large part, obviously, but your diet also does. Um, it, it definitely helps not to have funny things in your system. Like, that's just it. Yeah, so I think a plant-based diet is a good place to start. Mm -hmm. but, but it's I, not a cure or... <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed cure, at the very least. Yeah. Could you speak briefly about capitalism and carnism in relation to black veganism? So what does it mean to be black and vegan in a world that is capitalist and carnist? And I would say black veganism is activism. It's uh, political and it's a political stance against the capitalist mode of production, which I think doesn't have black people's interests at heart you know i think some of the foods that are sold are part of you know a bigger what could i say like scheme to harm black people mm -hmm. depopulation um yeah i don't know if you want to add on to that video i mean not to get like very conspiracy theory about it the conspiracy theory about it um i think the manner in which um certain foods are marketed you know is marketed to a black audience like you're mm -hmm. you're doing that pointedly and directly mm -hmm. directly to a certain demographic and knowing that the thing that you're 
that you're pushing is uh, extremely harmful. Mm. Um, location as well. It's location, mm. location, location. Like some shops uh, will like package, like will, will have certain food, and then you go to a complete same shop, go to mm. a completely different na- neighborhood, so township versus suburb, and that product doesn't exist there. I would say black veganism is a political stance, you know, against the regular mode of consumption under capitalism mm. and I think it's important for black people to be very intentional about it you know and and be vegan because mm-hmm. we, being vegan is very intentional it's, it's being very conscious about the fact that the world is not a very good place and that racism exists and that slave labor exists and that in the system they are slaves and they are masters you know so if you're gonna eat according to you know the proposed diet that the master you know has given the slave then it's gonna get very awkward very quickly exactly <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah it's activism yeah <clears throat> and it is not white <laughs> it is not white veganism is not white the yeah. lifestyle that we have chosen is not white and we are not living it in a white way or towards white ideals um it's 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 very racial for us i think mm-hmm. uh, it's very black racially us. specific yeah, yeah it's very racially specific. motivated definitely um yeah you, i think we, we both just came to a place where you can't ignore the fact that like you don't even have to get into the very nitty-gritty specifics mm-hmm. but the system as a whole is against you and if you're going to support it in that way then you're not helping yeah yeah like full stop yeah and I don't know if this is one of the questions that you got, but for me, how I arrived at veganism was because of my specific, in hindsight when I realized it, it was my specific position or positionality that uh, I occupy under, you know, this mm-hmm. capitalist mode. So being like, being lower middle class and being femme, okay, being a woman, And having all those intersections meet at one point made me realize, firstly, that animals are being exploited in the same way that women are exploited under patriarchy and that black people are exploited under uh, white supremacy and how lower class people are exploited under capitalism. Mm -hmm. And having all those intersections meet made me realize that I cannot be the person to further exploit others because I don't enjoy being exploited. Mm -hmm. So it's all a part of, you know, the energy that I would like to receive and and, and putting that out there firstly. Mm -hmm. And I didn't arrive at it because I have white ideals. No, I arrived at it because of my experience as a black middle class woman. Yeah. And really this is, uh, it's not to like berate or <clears throat> point fingers at blacks who, you know, choose not to, like very much your choice and be about it, but, um, just very mean, circumstantial. Yeah. Besides choice. We, we are in a position where we can and where we are able to choose that for ourselves and it's the responsible thing to do. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, enough preaching. Father God, in the matchless name of Jesus, we come against that stray spirit. But yes, I also didn't want to get too political or academic, but mm. the origins find themselves there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to avoid. But yes, you know, Black Lives Matter. Mm. Speak on it extensively. Someone was just asking. You <laughs> <laughs> can <laughs> stretch it out. You can say it slowly. <laughs> Really good. So this 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 is actually a good time to throw in our next question. So this is a question we got from a Napo HD. Um, I want to put like his YouTube in our description because I want people to watch his channel. It's kind of mm. nice. Um, but he said, "How expensive is it to be vegan, and can one gain weight on a vegan diet?" I think that's a very important question. So with regards to affordability. Do you want to speak on that? Um, <clears throat> you know, I, <laughs> I think it's as expensive as you make it. Um, because it's like saying, you know, how expensive is a meat diet? It's, it's like, 
with, or like an omnivore's diet it's as expensive yeah. as you make it and people work according to what they can afford yeah um i think i feel people think that you need to have a lot of money so you can buy all the fancy ingredients so that you're not uh nutrient deficient it's just awkward because you are currently nutrient deficient on your omnivore's diet so it, it's up to you it's up to you and how you handle your veganism yes like it's I just think. like being a meat eater you can choose to eat sirloin mm-hmm. or salmon or you could just keep it you know 100 mm-hmm. and eat Ground beef. yes mm-hmm. exactly so it's really up to you and for us mm-hmm. i would say oh for me being vegan is not expensive uh we just so happen to be in a place where there are a lot of like food vendors um and it's really affordable to just go instead of going to like bigger shops to go to the vendors and buy fruits and vegetables and you have fresh produce all the time so it's quite sustainable actually it's where it gets tricky when you're like um with, with regards to gaining weight actually so if you want to get a certain amount of protein and you want it to be high uh now you have to supplement so you'll get like almond butter that's when it starts getting expensive we don't get protein vegan protein powders or pea pow- protein which is excellent all excellent sources of protein but you don't need them actually you don't need a lot of protein to to survive or to keep like maintain your weight i think someone was saying you need like 38 grams and you can get that from fruits and vegetables or like plants alone you know what i'm saying or like grains legumes yeah, so it's only expensive if you want it to be. And with regards to gaining weight, you can gain weight on a vegan diet. It's quite simple. It's either you are eating in a deficit, which is where you lose weight, so a calorie deficit, or you're eating in a calorie surplus, or you're, at your, you're eating at your maintenance calories. So if you eat your maintenance calories, you're not going to gain weight. If you eat a surplus, you will, if you eat a deficit, you lose weight. So it's all about knowing what your maintenance calories are, which you can just easily calculate uh, on just Google, you know, what are my maintenance calories, and then you get it, and then eat in a surplus if you're trying to gain weight on a vegan diet. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, eat more. (laughs) (laughs) Like, eat more grains, <laughs> just have like more leggy, more split peas, yeah. like get into the pub. Like, oh, it's yeah. quite simple. Mm. Eat more, yes. A lot of people think meat is what keeps you like, like building muscles. No, meat is just pro- highly concentrated protein. It's not necessarily, necessarily a healthy source of protein, it's just highly concentrated. It's not like you're gonna lose muscle mass. If you eat vegetables, just eat a lot of vegetables and then you'll keep the same weight. Exercise as much and you have your muscles. That's all. And does veganism make you as beautiful as both of you? <laughs> <laughs> shout outs. That is a mutual friend of ours who asked actually. So shout out to Gabba Um, Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to say yes. I think vegans are hella cute like, yes. that's just like my personal thing I think they are so fine thanks um, so yeah it does mm-hmm. be vegan today <laughs> <laughs> we got another question from treasured him um what do you eat when it's 4am <laughs> and your four bottles deep and kawaii is closed kawaii <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So basically, vegan junk food. What do you eat <clears throat> when you turned and you just come from the club, and the only street food that's there is a burros raw and chips, Standard. slap chips with a lot of chip spice. Yeah. Um. If that's not available, yeah, it does get a bit tricky. Yeah. You just like snacks in general. Yeah. Yeah, so like, yeah, Doritos, popcorn, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it also helps to have like vegan meat alternatives sometimes. Like, mm-hmm. uh, vegan sausages are nice. Fry the sausage and put it on the bun and keep it moving. Keep it moving, honestly. Fry some onions up. 
Yeah. You have to really be intentional when you're vegan. You have to you're not always going to be convenienced. So, yeah. eating street food um after the club if you don't like fries, yeah, wait till you get home and then make food. <laughs> but if you like fries, I'm that guy who likes fries. I never get tired of fries. So, that option is always available for me. Mm-hmm. And I don't even go to Kauai. <laughs> <laughs> That's never my place anyway. <laughs> one more question. I think we have one more question from my side. I want to know what the health benefits are and what led you to become vegan. Just... I don't know, there was feeling like it's time to be vegetarian, um, kind of getting over meat, um, wanting to be a little bit more conscious about taking care of the, the thing that I move in this life with, um, the animals, ethical reasons, uh, moral and ethical reasons, and then just like comic reasons also, just like, why is mm. I actually remember, uh, I, for me, when I became vegan, it was a lot of things. So I had been vegetarian for, at that time, I think it was 2017. So it was two years vegetarian. And then I had moved into this house. That's where I met Leo. And Leo was the other vegetarian in this, in this house, the only vegetarian in this house. And so whenever like people would get food, maybe we would eat communally, We'd have like these cheese puffs across the road. <laughs> and I remember once, like we would overdo them. Mm. So like maybe the the second last time we brought some over and Leo was actually like, I think I'm letting go of cheese. And I was like, damn. Goddamn, boy. Yeah, no, no, no. That's a big move. <laughs> <laughs> it was but like, I think, like holding me back. Yeah, it was the uh, cheese. Yeah. yeah. I left eggs the same time I left meat. Okay. But it kept, uh, Get cheese and keep keep milk even. Okay, mm. okay. I was just a proper vegetarian, like cheese, milk, whatever. Uh, and then Leo was like, "Nah, I think I think it's done. I think I'm getting closer to the time." So with that progression, there was one time when I brought them over. Leo was like, "This is the last time," and I was like, "You know what? I think you have a point." <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was contemplating it. I was still eating my cheese puffs, egg fried rice. I used to have all of those things. And then one day I was going to a lecture, and that's when I had the whole. I was going through lecture material in my mind. And it was basically about like. Uh, exploitation just like politics and the intersections made sense for me and I was like mm. I cannot exploit anyone in this exploitative mm. system already so mm. that's what it to me being vegan yeah lost a lot of friends <laughs> <laughs> my friends hated it so I don't know what happened um, but a lot of people think it's a self-righteous stance mm-hmm. to have as a black person to say to other black people don't eat meat because animal lives mm-hmm. matter a lot of people are like are you are you saying that black lives are less important than animals and it's like yo that is difficult that's not it at all to both uh, to no why must one be over there like why it doesn't make sense it. yeah why must this was not even like why is well, why are we choosing Actually, they shouldn't even be put next to each other because well, it's not actually talking about the same thing unless it's about the exploitation part. Like, that's where the bridge is. Yeah. But I think the comparison between, like, humans and animals, like, don't do that. And plants, yeah, not, not you, plants not having feelings in the conversation. First thing I've heard, next to lions eat animals. So as if you hunt your own animals. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Don't, don't do it. I just say you enjoy eating meat. Those fish aren't really animals. Damn! No. <laughs> Leave it alone. Let it go, sweetheart. How could you? <laughs> but yeah, with regards to black people eating meat, listen, if it's circumstantial, yes, but not people with like Instagram and like who have access, driving BMWs, like saying, um, mentioning the affordability thing. You just choose not to, and that's fair. Yeah, that's okay. What are the health benefits? Ah, many. Okay, I think maybe at some stage we must also just talk about like people like staying informed. I think like we long established that medical doctors don't even like spend a lot of their 
their learning time on nutrition and i think as as people just you as yourself you should be like somewhat concerned with your your operating system you know um so research look look for yourself it's kind of asking what are the health benefits of fruits and vegetables uh, <laughs> um many 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 I'll name one and a lot of people don't know this one uh someone on Facebook what was like how do you cure constipation and I was like you be vegan you don't even know what that is yeah, yes. So, regular is that's <laughs> one thing about me. <laughs> like clockwork. Yeah, yeah. It's like clockwork. Honestly, yeah. if you don't ever want to see cost and you shouldn't be constipated actually. No. Just get a whole lot of fiber into your body by being vegan. Um you'll be fine. You'll be great, dude. Yeah, you'll be great. I think like the buoyancy generally that people talk about I was it's true. Points you mean like energy yeah being like a little bit lighter on your feet being able to like kind of look alive a little bit easier mm. but yeah. that's if it's not like a fries and magunya day yeah so vegan junk food is something that's very easy to to do and carbs so very easy to mm. overdo carbs and that's when you're not eating well as a vegan so it's also possible to to screw I wish I could be more specific about it. It's just, just do it. Just really do it. Make it for yourself. Just do it. Yeah. Try this for a short period. Also, these things differ from person to person. So giving it a shot is something. Just yes. Like, try and see what it does for you. Yes. To keep up. Yes. Try and error always. Another question. <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna ask? Please go for it. The question is, do you, do you? Have think that you're better than everybody now that you guys are vegan <laughs> listen <laughs> no no i don't no i don't either. yeah no come on but yes do you know how many chia seeds yeah yeah like, what's that movie Everyone knows, like, this, this guy is his son's manager and they're basically trying to undersell the boy and he's like do you know how many chia seeds is in this boy's body do you know how, how many is? bunches of kale Mm, the maca powder, like <laughs> okay, the pistachio nuts, you know, how many romaine lettuce, how many goji berries. Honestly, and that's that's on Mary had a little lamb at the end of the day. No, mm. I don't think I'm better. No, you don't think you're better than anyone. No, but do you but know how many you know, mm. chia seeds? Like, we take care of ourselves, so we do expect some level of respect from it. One. I think it's more a self-esteem thing. So I definitely feel better about myself. I don't think I'm better than anybody, but like me to me, I feel better about myself. Um, I feel like I'm investing in my mental space, investing in my health, and like doing my part where I can. Um, yeah, I'm kind of proud of myself for that. So self-esteem wise, it definitely helps. Yeah. Honestly, I, I, I don't like fighting with people, but a lot of people hold the sentiment actually. <laughs> and I just want to say it's not the case. It's just like about being the change that you want to see. And that's what it is for me. And of course, I cannot do something that I believe in and not suggest that someone else does it. It wouldn't be believing in it if I didn't, you know, recommend. Um, but it's not at all that I look down on anyone for carnism. You do what you need to do. You know, different strokes for different folks. Mm. Yeah. So. Like no judgment. If you get touched very easily by my being vegan, that sounds like that's a personal insecurity. So guilty? Hey, I didn't say anything to you. Now I must be asking me if I feel like. Yeah. No, we don't want any of that smoke. Mm-hmm. Uh, please. <laughs> please be confident about your diet. Yeah. Uh, and don't feel fetched mm. when you see vegans veganing. No, 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 no one is at him. This is yeah. really not about you. Yeah. It's nothing personal. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Um, I hope this video was informative. Mm. Um, most importantly, I hope that you guys got to know us a little bit better as my Um, Yeah, this is something that we enjoy doing. Uh, we love talking about all things vegan and so catch us you know on the next episode <laughs> definitely uh, uh, maybe comment below or DM us uh, what our next video should be if this one was interesting to you 
Um, yeah. Until next time. Bye.